Here are five business stories making headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. South Africa's ruling ANC has called for the swift extradition of businessmen Rajesh and Atul Gupta after they were arrested by the United Arab Emirates. The Gupta brothers are accused of using their connections to former South African President Jacob Zuma to win contracts, siphon off state funds and influence cabinet appointments. Zuma and the Guptas have denied any wrongdoing. The World Bank has signed two financing agreements worth $900 million with Democratic Republic of Congo to boost female entrepreneurship and access to water and electricity. The bank said in a statement on Wednesday that development projects would focus on the central west Kasai province and eastern regions. Tanzania's central bank has said it will, for the first time, allow residents of East African and Southern African trade blocs to invest in its treasury bonds and bills. The Bank of Tanzania said a new law would replace two previous ones that had restrictions on the sale of government securities to foreign investors. Operations will stop permanently at South Africa's oldest private airline, Comair, after its bankruptcy protection lawyers applied to liquidate the company. The 75-year-old carrier had failed to secure funding, having been severely hit by travel restrictions in the global health crisis. And finally, Uganda says two years of exploration surveys have shown it has gold ore deposits of more than 30 million tonnes. The government estimates that over 300,000 tonnes of refined gold could be extracted. And it wants to attract big investors to develop the sector, hitherto dominated by small wildcat miners.